Being a brewmaster has a lot of different facets. Um, it goes down to, you know, not only creating the recipes, but being out and sampling with some of our customers, with our clients, the consumer. For me, it's really the, the creativity. Creating a new beer, coming up with the recipe, making sure my, my vision from start to finish got into that pint glass that somebody's gonna be drinking. The brewery was founded in 1984, and um, right about then they started getting all the kind of financing together, putting the production space together, and first got rolling brewing beer and putting out beer in 1986. It was a blue sky offering in the state of Wisconsin, which means it was a blue sky stock offering. There were no assets at the time. The founders literally sold a million dollars worth of stock on a song and a prayer with the hope that they would then build a brewery and brew German-style beer. I think being a brewmaster is definitely both a science and an art. My origins in craft brewing didn't necessarily start till after college, so I had an undergraduate degree in, in uh, biology. So that's kind of where I got my fermentation knowledge and my kind of just excitement about science in general. But I also have throughout my whole life had a lot of art in my life. So um, I think brewing is a really, really great connection of both those things. There's definitely a lot, of, a lot of art in it that science will tell you one thing, but when you want to do something different or new, that's where your kind of art comes in. The labels provide the face of the beer, the face of the style and type of beer. What we try to do is incorporate uh, traditional colors with some of the beers. For example, a Maybach traditionally has a green label as does ours. Amber has a traditionally a reddish label, as does ours. Doppelbox, et cetera, tend to be darker labels. And so what we've tried to do is, is utilize color and shape to match the beer behind the label. We've won quite a few awards over the last 30 years of brewing. I personally do have a kind of a pretty recent award. The, uh, the Fishing in the Dark was my first recipe that I brought to the company and um, that actually was just awarded a platinum medal through the Tastings.com World Beer Championships. So that's something that was kind of very, very exciting for me and just to see, I mean, I, I enjoyed drinking it, but to get some recognition like that is really, really cool. Welcome to Bachfest 2016. Bachfest is held the last Saturday of February to commemorate the tapping of our Blonde Doppelbach, which has won six platinum awards. It started many moons ago as really literally eight or nine people sitting around a campfire out in the beer garden in the middle of winter, scratching their heads, wondering, what are we doing out here drinking a beer? And it has become certainly the most popular winter festival in the Midwest, celebrating the brewing of, of beer. We'll get anywhere from between two and 3,000 people. My favorite part of the festival itself is that we usually throw fish. Maybe it's a big, huge smoked salmon. Maybe it's some little chubs last year. It was just a little smelt that we were launching with some little tennis ball launchers. But um, I always like to tell this story because it's, it's Wisconsin, so I, I personally don't need an excuse to drink beer outside, even, even in, the, in the middle of winter. But once upon a time, somebody really questioned it. and. So well, you're just sitting outside drinking beer in the winter, and they're like, well, when is okay to drink beer outside in the winter? And someone said, well, when you're when you're catching fish, fine, then we'll throw fish. My name is Scott Weiner. I'm president and chairman of Capital Brewery. My name is Ashley Kennard, and I am the brewmaster of Capital Brewery.